Welcome scientists, it's Miss Gisa. Today I'm going to read you a story called Bees Like Flowers, written and illustrated by Rebecca Bielowski. Bees like flowers. Look, a buzzy bee. Sometimes they sting people, but they never sting me. You see, she's got a fluffy body, but don't touch her because she might get you with her stinger as you've given her a fright. I don't bother them. They're working. I just watch them do their thing. They walk around on flowers and stick their little faces in. Bees like flowers that are growing in the ground. Bright colors bring them closer and keep them buzzing round. Bees like flowers and the nectar that's so sweet. But when they fly away, something sticks on to their feet. It's pollen and it's yellow. Look, it's sticking to the bee. She takes it to another flower or the blossoms of a tree. So flowers like bees too. Thank you bees, they say. They help to spread the pollen and make new flowers far away. This is called a beehive. The bees call it their home. The queen lays her eggs in there, inside the honeycomb. Bees use the nectar to make honey in the hive. They feed it to the babies when they finally arrive. Yummy runny honey made by our friends, the bees. They might give you a little bit if you would just say please. So that's why bees like flowers. And that's why I like bees. Bzz, the end. Now, let's talk about insects. Insects have six legs. Let's count the legs on the bee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Insects have three parts to their bodies. Count my body parts. One, two, three. Am I an insect? What do you think? Are bees insects? They sure are. Now, let's look at the flowers. The red one is called a poppy. The yellow one, sunflower. And the white one with a little yellow circle in the middle is a daisy. Can you go back and listen to the story and find these flowers? Thanks for listening to the story today. Join us again soon to hear other stories about the bees. If Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.